In this section, we're going to be looking at translations, uh, one of the transformations that we have to consider when we're in core one. So in order to get us to that stage, what I'm going to do is a brief recap in this video of how to complete the square on a parabola in order to find the coordinates of its vertex. So I'm going to go through these four examples here. For the first one, y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 15. So reminding you of completing the square, we can write this as x plus 1 squared. So we halve the 2, OK, and we get 1. We want to take away the square of this number. So take away 1 squared, so just take away 1. And then we're going to take away 15 on the end. And so we've got, well, because we've still got that 15 there. So we have x plus 1 squared, take away 16, and so the coordinates of the vertex are minus 1, minus 16. OK, so this is going to be uh, an important part of the process for um, transformations in core 1. So let's look at number 2. y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 10. So we write x, then we're going to halve the 6, so 3, so we get minus 3 squared. Take away the square of the minus 3, so take away 9. And then we've still got the plus 10 on the end, so we've got a plus 10. So we've got x minus 3 squared. Take away 9 plus 10, so plus 1. And so the coordinates of the vertex are at 3, 1. Now, when we go on to number 3 and number 4, they're slightly more fiddly because in this case we've got a 6x squared and this time we've got a minus x squared. So if we go with this one first, I'm going to take 6 out of the first two terms. So factor it out first. So we're going to write that as 6 lots of x squared minus 6x. And I've still got the plus 12 on the end. Okay. So now I'm going to complete the square on what's inside the bracket. I've still got that 6, and then I've got x take away 3 squared. Take away the square of the minus 3, so take away 9, plus 12, still on the outside. And then you can multiply through. So we've got 6 lots of the x minus 3 squared. We've got 6 lots of the minus 9, so that's minus 54. And I've still got the 12 on the outside. So this is 6 lots of x minus 3 squared, minus 54 plus 12, so that's minus 42. And so the coordinates of the vertex can be read off as 3 minus 42. So notice that the 6 doesn't come into it here. It's just the, the opposite or the change the sign of the number within the bracket and leave the 1 on the outside alone. So we're going to use a similar process for number 4. So first of all, take the minus 1 outside of the first two terms. So I'm going to write it as minus, open bracket, x squared minus 10x, take away 16. And then complete the square on what's inside the bracket. So we've got minus x minus 5 all squared, halving the 10. Take away the square of the minus 5, so take away 25. I've still got the minus 16 on the outside. So we've got minus, now bring, multiplying through by the minus 1, so minus x minus 5 all squared, minus minus 25, so plus 25, and I'm taking away 16. So this leaves me with minus x minus 5 all squared, plus 25 take away 16 is 9. And so the coordinates of the vertex are at 5, 9.